what's on the it list today? We've got Motive Certified Trainer Pam Pham shows us how to make your own foundation using Custom Blend Mix. Pam is a Motive's Challenge winner in 2013 to 2016. She's a certified makeup artist for 2014 Miss Teens Canada, Miss Universe Canada, and Top Model Search Canada. But hang tight because our second it guy is Patrick de Belen. He's a speaker, youth worker, spoken word artist, and a lover of words. Patrick is the youngest Canadian spoken word poet to carry the national championship title in 2012. That's on the It List today. So guys, Pam is actually my makeup artist for the season 2 of the It List. So she does my hair and makeup and well, we have a lot of fun, right? Uh, so thank yeah. for, thanks for coming today. She's going to be showing us a custom blend. Hi Rachel. Hey. Thank you for having me today. Custom blend is just amazing. It's actually... Um, water-based and mineral line and also it's uh, infused with a lot of soothing botanicals and anti-aging properties while having it on your skin which is also nourish your skin right so with custom line we have seven bases from really light to really dark so we can customize from really dark skin to light skin. So, so basically custom blend is really yes. uh, to customize for each skin tone it's like a foundation. Yes, so it's a foundation. Instead of picking it up of the, you know, your Shabbos Drug Mart yes. or any like Sephora store maybe, this is your chance to kind of like put your own blend exactly. so that it matches your skin. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Also, what good about it is it's 11% pigmentation. I love the pigment payoff because over the counter only 6 to 7% pigmentation. Whereas Custom Blend is 11% pigmentation. What does that mean? Which, which is really close to our skin color. So the higher so, the pigmentation is closer to our yes, skin tone. Yes, and the, okay. the longer it lasts on your skin. With Custom Blend, we can also customize from really sheer coverage to medium mm -hmm. to full coverage. And depends on your skin type, right? If it's oily. So if it's oily, we can do matte look. If yeah. people that have um, dry skin, we yeah. can go with dewy or luminous look, depends. It also has sunscreen, which is you can customize from SPF 16 to 23. So basically it has everything. It has everything. So it also has, what is it, like the toner uh, up These here? are toners yeah. where we can put back into our skin, real skin pigmentation. Um, we have blood, we have yellow on the tone, we have veins. So these toners come in to put back the real skin color. And also it cut all the unwanted pigmentation of the foundation. So like an unevenness? It yes. Kinda like yes. It so it, when it even? goes on, it looks skin-like. Mm. So this toner is for that, right? And also we can customize uh, full coverage if people have pigmentation or a lot of uh, breakouts, or blemish, blemishes, yes. acne. Yes. So, so it, there it, is a ch uh, a choice because sometimes I I prefer like more dewy, luminous look yes, or whatever. I love and sometimes matte look too, yeah. like we want that heavy coverage matte look. You don't want to be all shiny. So it depends on yes, your skin tone. Yes, we can tone. customize everything and. Um, there are also skin care that I add on to it. If you have oily skin, we can add in oil control or hydrate or, or anti-aging. So basically, your foundation uh, is, we call it skin care with added color. So why don't we bring up our model today, Amy? Hi. Amy, want to come up and sit on Beautiful this makeup model. chair? Because, hello Amy. Amy, Amy is going to be the model and mm -hmm. uh, Pam's going to show us basically how to mix it. So what do we have for Amy today? What, so, what does she like? <laughs> okay, my beautiful model Amy today, she <laughs> wants to have sheer coverage. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add in thinner for her. And she also like matte look, right, for summer. So we're going to have mattifier in her foundation. At the same time, she's a little tan now. She's usually very light. Fair. So uh -huh. I'm going to put mix the beige and porcelain for her skin. Ooh, I yes. love porcelain. And because um, she, we all have human, we have yellow in the tone, so I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Uh -huh. And also, she wants natural look, so I'm gonna add in a little bit of pink for her. I think I'm liking this. And it's then, for me. <laughs> yes, and then um, a little bit of purple to cut down the um, yellow in the tone pigmentation of the foundation. So it balances it out. Yes. And because she said she has combination skin, so I'm gonna add in oil control and hydrator. This is skincare. Okay. Right? So this is actually to take care of your skin. Yes. And of course, she worry about, you know, 
her age, anti-aging, you know, we oh, all do. Well, I don't see it, I don't see any lines. <laughs> she looks good. So this is ultra foaming. Uh, it's more like a Botox in the foundation. So it's part right? of the skincare line yes. too. Yes. So this is something that you cannot find from over the counter when you go to get your foundation out, right. out there. Right. Because it's so really going to be exactly to her yeah, skin personalized tone. formula for her. So why don't we take a quick break? Because after that, we're going to get with the application. Today, as an immigration has been established for more than 26 years, it is a one-stop service center for immigration service, student visa, and visitor visa. We have been in immigration and citizen cases for more than 26 years. We have licensed consultants and lawyers to help you to fulfill your dream to come to Canada. We are here to help. Capture every step. Capture every achievement. Capture every milestone. Capture every moment through the eyes of a cannon. Hello, this is Rocky Gathercall, and thank you very much for watching The Eat List. So Pam, tell us how to mix the custom blend for Miss Amy here. Okay, so this is uh, Amy's formula. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix everything together in this beaker, right? So she wanted mattifier, so we're going to put in mattifier. Okay. So that's the first thing that you put in. Yes, All and right. then her skincare, right? So everything we put it in here. So we're doing what we're doing right now is a sample mix. Yes, the skincare solutions right over there. Yes, the so if you're yeah, and if you're a busy person, this is everything in one. Okay. Well, you could pre-mix it. Yes. You don't mix that every morning. Yes, a lot of my that? clients are like, oh, do I have to do this every morning? No, like, you just no, make a big batch, right? Yeah. What's the product shelf for for these? Um, this should last you two years, right? Oh. Because it's uh, mineral and water based. So it lasts you a lot longer than over the counter. And so what's this? Oh, it's just the yellow tone, right? Yeah, these okay. are the toners to put back in our skin color and also to cut down all these unwanted. Pigmentation. It's like painting. Okay. Yeah. Well, it exactly is exactly like that. And okay. then what you we do, we mix everything together, right? And then we, we apply. apply. It on. So this, this is the finished products right here that we we got it for Amy. And at the bottom here, it, it's gonna be Amy and also the date. Oh, your actual name. Yeah, so it's foundation. Amy, it's for Amy. It's not it's for Amy. Amy. It's, yeah. you know, it's, it's personalized, not unique customized or... for her. Right, and this bottle right here is gonna last you uh, two to three months. Awesome. Yeah. And then what are these powders over there? So, whatever that we have, and foundation, we can go exact same way with powder. It's a hundred percent minerals, and it purifies to millions. So it's extremely lightweight on your skin. And so you need basically, you know, for most women, or when yeah. you wear foundation, you need the powder to to, to set, set it. it, right? A lot of people don't wear powder, but. Honestly, you cannot wear foundation without powder because powder is so important because we have always oil, you know, natural oil come out and also yeah. when the light hit. So you need powder to set the foundation, otherwise it doesn't last. So then um, how do we mix one for Amy here? What do we have here? Okay, so since we have her foundation, it should be so much easier right. to customize her powder. 
So for her, she's gonna be um, half light and half medium in powder, mm -hmm. right? So, so that's similar to what she has in the liquid form. Yes, exactly, right. same way. So this half is light, half light, medium. and this is medium, right? And what she has earlier, because powder is matte, finished, so right. we don't need mattifier for powder, no. right? But she has moisturizing which is hydrator and foundation. So that's right? so similar to the skin solution that we have? Yes. Okay. And this is also um, anti-aging and powder. Okay. So the white, the white containers is equivalent to the blue containers in the liquid form, essentially. This, this, yes. Yes. Because these are skin care. Right. But in powder, because she has a little bit of, um, you know, the, the spot right here. So uh -huh. this is the lightening active powder. So um, clinically, if you use it over eight weeks, yeah. So it's supposed to lighten up those spots for you. Oh, so or if you have it pigmentation, even, it evens or, the pigmentation. Yeah. Oh, I see. How and do you know how much to put for what? I just want to know because <laughs> there's like, a there's a uh, class that's oh, so you and you're take. teaching it. Yes. Uh, so Pam is teaching this class. If anyone's interested, she actually holds a lot of workshops, um, you know, in Toronto and even Montreal. You're heading to Calgary, so yeah. Yes. So she does a lot of this workshop to teach people how to custom yeah. blend, contour, and all that stuff. Yeah. With this, you can customize also blush, bronzer, lip stain, mm -hmm. eyeshadow, everything with the. And then you the mix powder. it. Yeah, and then you mix it together. It's like baking. Yeah. Except it's no bake. It's a no bake. Uh, yeah, it's pretty thing unique. that you put on your face. Okay, so everyone yeah. needs a little like a spatula or whatever that is, right? Yeah. Okay. This is exactly like how you cook. Okay. Okay. So, so now I think we should proceed to the application. So for application, normally when you put on your moisturizer and all that, then you put on primer, right? Right. Uh, a lot of time you need to wait five to ten minutes after the primer yeah. for the moisturizer to sit in and then apply the foundation. In case for people who don't know what a primer is, yes. Pam, do you want to show them? Yes, this is a <laughs> primer. Uh, it's a barrier between your skin and your foundation and also it smooths out all the you know, if your skin, our skin is not even, so right. if you, it smooth it out the, the area on the skin and also, you know, it holds the foundation a lot longer. So I'm going to give it to and you Amy. just put a dollop, a little bit of it. You don't yeah. need a lot. Yeah, you don't need a lot. So you apply it similar to like a moisturizer then, right? Yes. Yes. And this primer also has vitamin A, C and D in there. So it's it's good for your really skin. It's really good for your skin. So we have Amy foundation right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Amy to hold this, and then we're gonna take a little bit. So this is because the pigmentation is a lot stronger, so you don't need a lot. So you just need a about a penny size, right? Yeah, that's not a lot actually. Yeah, to go. So. How to apply yeah. um, the foundation, you, normally you, you divide your, your face into five sections. So okay. one, two, three, four, and the nose last, five. Okay. Right? So you're going to take the foundation into the brush, right? And then you're going to apply just like that. Yeah, with. you see how it's really look like her skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now we are proceeding to using the custom blend powder mix mm -hmm. that is customized for Miss Amy. <laughs> okay, so now that we have everything is done here, yeah. with powder, right, you only use a tiny bit as well because it's, you know, break down to a really small space pieces, so you don't need a lot. What you're going to use is you're going to use a brush with the flat top or you can use a kabuki brush, mm -hmm. right? So you're going to take a little bit of powder and you're going to push into the brush, right? And push then into the brush, people. Yes, not on the floor. <laughs> not on the floor. <laughs> Don't like flick it over here. So you're going to dab on the face first uh -huh. and then just circle it. Dab face and then circle? Yeah. You see how beautiful 
mm -hmm. gorgeous, right? It sets so it, it set the foundation. Yes. Dab and circles. Yes. It's like a dance routine. You set it with setting spray. Okay. This is, oh my god, I love this <laughs> setting spray. I'm yeah, she in, uses that on me like, Psh. Yes, I can bath with <laughs> setting spray. So this has also a lot of vitamins and antioxidant and SPF. It does? Yes. And I S thought it just sets the skin. Yes, like and SPF 16. Face. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's supposed to hydrate the skin up to 16 hours and keep the makeup stay up to 16 hours. So this is our finished product. We just talked about uh, the custom-made foundation as well as the custom blend um, powder, powder mix. Yes. So Pam, for people who want to reach out to you, how do we find out more about you? Well, you can uh, find me on um, Instagram at beautywithpam or my website beautywithpam.ca and if you want to mix all this for yourself, uh, you can book with me for a consultation. Thank you so much for coming today. Thank, Thank you, you so Amy, much for, for having your us. Model. Um, I just want you to stay tuned because up next we have our poetry uh, lover of words, Patrick Dibelin.